We are going to be discussing about the health issues in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So, from your Microsoft 365 Admin Center, here you can see we have uh, health and also we have the health dashboard. So, the health dashboard is designed to give you a snapshot of the overall health of your environment. So, here you can actually see how well your organization is keeping desktop software up to date, following best practices for security and using the product and services you have paid for. So first of all, if you look at the health dashboard, at a glance you can see it says we can actually see the service head and usage of our apps. You can see uh, for Estee Online, we have one, at, one adversary advisory and for others you can see they are all health healthy so if i just click the one adv advisory to see you can see it says some dele delegate users on process meetings may not show as uh, as attentive on their calendar in exchange online you can actually see more information about this um the service health of exchange online so right now if i go that's actually the a glance of the dashboard and if i let me just cancel this and if i scroll down you can see it says we have the recommended action at this moment we don't have any action that is actually recommended and you can see it says um admin protected by mfa is actually zero of one you only have just one user at the moment and if I go to service health, so that service health, you can see here it says view the issues and health status of all services that are available with your current subscriptions. And this one is Microsoft Service Health 2 Health. So you can see we have just two information. It says admins are unable to, to add or edit. You can actually expand this group terms set or terms in sharepoint online so it just actually give you some of the issues which are actually on board right now but most of these issues if i click on if i click on it you can see it's going to give us more details about the issue when it was actually recorded you can see it was recorded on february 8th and then if we scroll down you can see we still have more information about this it says admin are unable to add or edit term groups term sets or terms in sharepoint online so we can actually see that if any update has been on on this due to actually be it will also be updated here in the active issues and also uh, let me just close this and just like before you can see we also have for example estin online sharepoint online we have one adversary and one adversary and for the rest everything looks very healthy so at this moment there are no issues with all the different apps so if for example sometimes if you work as a microsoft 365 administrator um it is actually part of your duty to be checking the microsoft um health dashboard to see if there are any issues with all your applications any of the services and then when there's issue with the services microsoft is actually going to display it there on your health dashboard and with this you cannot communicate with your users and then inform them what the issue what the issues are for example i think some some weeks ago there were issues with 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 microsoft 365 office but that is actually a general issue whereby um the um, user, users using um outlook will we were not able to receive emails teams we are not working very well so everything about office of about microsoft we are very very slow but that that seems to be a general problem globally and it was not even actually recorded or even stated here in the microsoft service health and also if you go to the windows release health here you can see it says find information about known issues for current supported version of the windows operating system at this moment there are no issues and if we go to known issues you can see that our dashboard is actually empty and here we can also go to, you can see we have message center so each message gives you a high level overview of a plan change and how it will affect your users so these are the changes that are actually going to take place maybe right now or in the next future or changes that have actually been that has already taken place in the past you can see for example um we have if i you can see we have some changes we have like for example, the 3 of February, we have the Microsoft 365 suite, we have Microsoft Teams. So if I click on that, here you can see it says the walkie-talkie usage and performance report in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center 
we give an overview of walkie talkie activities in your organization so these are actually the changes that is going to take place with microsoft Prof. some of them are actually in preview some of them are actually already in production so microsoft is going to give you a preview of what is going to happen in the future if for example let's click on we have a microsoft outlook extend sensitivity label to meeting so if i click that you see you can see it says message summary since sensitivity labeling will soon be available for meetings in outlook so here you can just actually be a bit the first to be to be aware of what is going to happen in the future so, uh, so sometimes sometimes it is actually very necessary to communicate these changes to your users and also if these changes are uh, available in your for example in microsoft outlook or in teams you want to actually review them and before you can actually sometimes you need to actually deploy them to your users as well so then you definitely want to deploy them to a test environment before deploying this to all your users in your um, corporate environment and also we have our product feedback so in product feedback you can see at this moment we don't have any feedback so if users leaves feedback for example in outlook sometimes these, those feedback may also appear here it says when your user your users send feedback you can read and manage it here users can send feedback in microsoft 365 product about their experience so if they are using outlook excel or word sometimes they may have the opportunity to actually send their feedback to microsoft or to the admin so all feedback they send will actually be seen here you can actually export this uh, this feedback to a csv file and then just if there are a lot of if you are working for a big company sometimes you may have hundreds of feedback so you want to actually export them and then filter this feedback to see if they all have something in common and we also have the network connectivity and software update um so, so software updates here you can actually monitor the microsoft 365 updates for your devices in your corporate organization to make sure that your devices have the latest security update so at this moment we don't have any update but this is actually a new environment because i'm actually doing this um training this, uh, is, this training actually is microsoft 365 administrator training which is the ms 102 from microsoft so we're just doing this step by step then very soon we'll start creating our users and also start installing our, win our windows operating um, system and then we'll start also um, we'll start um start also syncing our devices from the cloud to um Prem. So this is actually the general overview of the Microsoft Health dashboard in Microsoft 365 Admin Center.